Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be discussing the ending of The Flash 804 Dharma Gang Crossover Part 4, the ending of that episode. If you haven't seen it, click off the video now. If you just want to go watch that scene, go watch it, come back and watch this video. Or better yet, go watch the entire episode if you haven't seen it yet. And then come back and watch my review, which I uploaded last night. And then watch this video. <laughs> So technically, you're helping yourself because you get to watch two videos of me, and you get to watch a Flash episode. So, you know, <laughs> go do it. And if you haven't seen my review yet, go watch it. <laughs> um, so yeah, <laughs> hit like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and uh, enjoy this video. So the end of 804, um, we got Thawn and the Time Vault. This is in a new timeline. I'm gonna do a full video, um. Roughly 24 hours from the point in time of you guys seeing this. Um, on Thursday night. Um, discussing all the changes that should have happened in this new timeline that we're in. Remember, Barry changed the timeline. So this, we weren't living in a reverse flashpoint. We're living in the OG timeline that we left off in 718. And so the past three episodes being put in to the reverse uh, flashpoint. So that's where we're at now. Thawne, at the end of the episode, the Reverse Flash, said, and he's a Reverse Flash, and he's not the Flash anymore, obviously, because new timeline, um, <laughs> was basically trying to, like, it seemed like he was trying to force someone to help him change the timeline so that he wouldn't live. Um, and that people were saying it was Gideon. I don't think it was. Earlier in this episode, we saw Ryan Wilder, Batwoman, talking to Iris. And she said, when she brought up the speed gun, the, the, the gun that would immobilize a speedster, take away their powers for a limited amount of time, she mentioned a certain lady in red. That's when that gun came in handy last. The only person who wears red as a speedster who's evil is Red Death. That's the only person I can think of. Now, in the comics, Red Death is Bruce Wayne, also known as the Batman. But in this universe, we don't have a Batman. We don't even have a Bruce Wayne who's supposedly dead. I'm pretty sure he's... I don't... Do we really know if he's dead? He's supposedly dead. And you could say, oh, he's hiding out as Red Death. He went behind him for eight years. <laughs> but a certain lady in red, could it be Ryan Wilder from another Earth as Red Death? They just took out Bruce Wayne, made it Ryan Wilder because she's Batwoman. And Batwoman fought her and not, I guess, in this universe, Thawne. Because, you know. But, I mean, Thawne would know about, if it is a her, he would know about her. You know, he would know, Thawne would know about Red Death. So, could Thawne be talking to Red Death? I mean, why would they just put that in there and not do anything with it? That's the second time... 100% we've been teased Red Death once. I believe this episode is the second time, if I'm correct, which I really do believe I am. And I'm totally not saying that because I totally called, like, 90% of the last episode. Fuck. <laughs> like, the first Flashpoint, I called it that several times for the episode aired, and I was right. <laughs> and a couple other things I was right on. I'm not being cocky. I'm just saying... I think the writers are doing really good, which means I'm doing really good. I guess what the episode's going to be like. So therefore, I think I know. <laughs> I think I know. I don't know no, but I think I know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I think I know. Probably going to get <laughs> probably going to get banned for watching CW. I, I think I know. I'm one of the writers. <laughs> if I was one of the writers, I'd write this episode a hundred times better. Let's be real. <laughs> I think we all would. But at least 803 with the chest and like a crap. But anyways, this is my review. I talked about that in my review. Anyways, <laughs> I believe Thawne was talking to Red Death. Or at least something related to that. And by that I mean, I think Red Death is in the future. Or obviously who's ever talking to is in the future. I think we know that. But it's not Gideon. We know Gideon's alive now. But... Would he really be like that to Gideon? I mean, Gideon trusts Wells. He doesn't. She doesn't know it's Thawne. But she knows he's a reverse Flash. 
But it's not that she doesn't care, and that's that she doesn't trust Barry. It's that she wants to help Wells whenever she can, right? And Thawne knows that. So, if it was Gideon, why is he acting that way? <laughs> that makes no sense to me as a person who's been watching the show since season three and who's watched season one and two at least a couple hundred times by now. <laughs> it, it makes zero sense for it to be Gideon. I believe someone in the future or in our timeline, maybe even the past, but I do believe it is the next big bad that we're getting this season, which will be a villain that I'm quoting Eric Wallace pretty much spot on here. It will be a villain that will test Barry and Team Flash to the limit, test them with their morality, their human side, and their loyalty to each other in the city. And it'll also tear for the hell out of them. It's going to push them to that limit. The only person who's been known for that, in the comics at least, which this show follows pretty damn well, sometimes, <laughs> like 90% of the time they follow it pretty well, is Red Death. And again, we got teased about Red Death in Season 5. We got, I'm 90% sure we got teased about Red Death by Ryan Wilder in 804. It would make sense that this is Red Death. And it makes sense that Red Death is the next big bad we're getting in Season 8. I don't think it's Cobalt Blue. We know it's not Cobalt Blue. Eddie Thawne. We know it's not him. He's going to be in 806 in the flashback. That's it. We know it's a flashback episode. So it's not Cobalt Blue. I don't care what you say. It's not Cobalt Blue. I guess you could say maybe Thawne's talking to Eddie. I just thought of that off the top of my head right now. But why? Why would Thawne get Eddie in the past? Because that's the only way you can get him back is in the past. To get Eddie to come to our time and to stop Barry? <laughs> that makes no sense. And that also wouldn't add up to everyone saying Eddie's only in one episode. Eric Wallace confirmed that we only saw him on set. For one episode. If Eddie was Cobalt Blue. We'd see him several times on set. Especially in a suit. We wanted to see him walk around. From like 2013. I mean dressed like he was in 2013. Like we wouldn't be seeing that. We'd be seeing him in a suit. Fighting Barry. So I think it's Eddie. <laughs> I just, this guy's kind of popped in my head. But you know. <laughs> I mean that's what these videos are for I guess. <laughs> um, but. I think it's Red Death. That or maybe it's blood work. And the whole time, like, we were all theorizing that, or at least the majority of us were, even I was, that blood work and Thawne would combine into one, like the speed force, the negative speed force would go to blood work, and he would become Red Death, but more deadlier, because, you know, blood work's... He's deadly. <laughs> I mean, he took over almost the entire city. He took over Barry. I mean, he's one of the most powerful people on the planet. And he took over him. So, imagine Thawne and Blood were combined to one. You get the idea for a suit. Why not make it terrifying? Make it a freaking bat. Because <laughs> we all love bats, right? So, make it a bat with blood running down or something. Make it Blood Work reverse flash roll on the one. There you go, Red Death. Simple as that. I, I, they could do it that way. I love that, honestly. Bring back Bloodwork. I didn't mind Bloodwork as a villain, but at the same time, they could have done it better with them. <laughs> but you get what I mean. I think some version of Red Death we are getting, whether it's that Lady in Red that Ryan Muller tees, or it's Thawne and Bloodwork. I, I believe it's gonna be something along those lines. Whether or not... I think we're definitely going to find out in 805. I, I can't believe... I would be annoyed. <laughs> I would be annoyed if we don't find out what the hell Thawne's plan is. Like, who he's calling in to help. Because he's actually calling in someone to help with this. This isn't Thawne doing it on his own. He's calling in someone to help. He's calling back up. So, I would be so annoyed... If we don't find out who this is in 805... We have to wait three months because remember, five is going on hiatus till March. 805 is it. We get 805 and we're off for three months. And in that time, we're assuming I'm lost Naomi on. And then 
Flash is being moved to Wednesdays. Which actually might screw up <laughs> everything, honestly. But, <laughs> at least for my upload schedule. But, I'll still try to get my reviews out those nights. But, <laughs> um, the episode's aired, I mean. But, I do believe it's Red Death. It's just, are they really going to bring him in now? And then make us wait three months? I mean, I guess you can say, oh, you know, it'd be a good cliffhanger. It would be a cl good cliffhanger. You're not wrong. But three months? <laughs> and what's the time gap there? You know, in the show, at least for the show, like, what would it be? Six months between Armageddon and 806? I mean, that, I don't know. I hope they explain the time gap because right now, the reverse Flashpoint 2021 what, anything they brought up in 2021 is not happening, obviously. This is all going to happen in 805. With Chester and Allegra doing their own thing. <laughs> and with the Legion of Doom showing up in 2021. We haven't gotten that. So, <laughs> I mean, it's 2021 still, right? <laughs> Flash is on for 805 in December, I'm pretty sure. Maybe they could all do it in 805 with Chess and Allegra, but Legion of Doom, no, that's gonna be like a whole story arc. But I, I would hope it'd be a whole story arc. <laughs> or at least a crossover. I mean, Jesus. But mm, that's not gonna happen in 2021. <laughs> so even though that timeline's gone, I still think it's fair to say 2021, something screwed up in 2021. More than it already is with the timeline, because obviously stuff isn't happening that's supposed to be happening now. That happened even in Reverse Flashpoint. That's not happening in the original timeline. Who knows? Maybe you know, Legion of Doom did show up now because Armageddon didn't really happen. Although according to Despero, it does in that promo. But if you haven't seen the promo, go watch it. Come back and watch this part. But in the promo, Despero says that he can still cause Armageddon, and by he, I'm assuming. Because that's what Lily says. He can still cause Armageddon. And we all know Thawne's the one that caused it. So is that's what going to kill Thawne? I'm assuming. <laughs> and Barry's just going to be okay with it? I'd be okay with it. <laughs> that's saying I hate Thawne, but he's been around for a while. I think he should die soon. Just to get Barry <laughs> to move on. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I just hope you find out who. And if it is the next big bad... I hope it's Red Death, and I want to see the suit. If it is Red Death, I want to see the suit. I want to see him in live action. I want to see who it is under that mask, who the actor is, or actress. Actor, actress, who knows? <laughs> Could be a guy or girl. I wouldn't, if it was a girl, I it would not be Ryan Wilder. <laughs> if they're bringing in Red Death, it would 100,000% not be in Ryan Wilder, just because of scheduling. We have to look at it outside the show now and look at real life. <laughs> like, it wouldn't be Ryan Bother. It would a thousand percent either be Thawne or Bloodwork combining into one, making an OP speedster, or in a death defying. De death defying? <laughs> yeah, there it is. Death defying speedster, or someone completely random that we've never seen before. I mean, I guess that could be the case, but. Uh, we could go down that route. <laughs> it depends how they do it. 804 did not have the best writing when it came to any other scene besides Barry. <laughs> Let's be real here. Barry and Dark, great lines, great writing. Showblain ruined the episode. Chester and Legra pretty much were cringy as hell throughout the episode. Had nothing to do with the episode. Ryan Choi had, like, maybe two good lines. His suit was only there for two minutes. Barry and Thawne, those scenes were amazing. Thawne and Iris' scenes were amazing. Anything with Iris in them were amazing. All the writing was top of the line there. But Chillblain, Chester, Frost, and Allegra, especially Chillblain, let's be real, ruined that episode, and the writing was just horrible. But I'm glad there's something there for Barry and Iris. I really am. I'm not being sarcastic when I say this. I'm really glad there's something there for Barry and Iris because they need to do that. And Thon as well. Thon's always have good lines. It doesn't matter what lines you give Tom Kavanaugh. He's going to pull it off no matter what. He's going to make it sound good. Like, Grant, he's... 
leveling up. And I know we're all sick of hearing that, but <laughs> no, I'm not sick of hearing. I think it's a good thing they're doing it. But even though the theme of season eight is literally leveling up, but no pun intended, Grant is leveling up as an actor and he's doing really well as an actor compared to the last couple seasons where I think the lines were good, but Grant wasn't doing as good as he could be doing. But because of Armageddon, I think we get to see Grant be the OG Flash that we've been wanting with that emotion, the drive, and the power. Why did I say power? <laughs> Probably because I've been listening to that stupid rock rap for the past 20 minutes. <laughs> Which wasn't my choice, by the way. It was in the video I was watching, and all I could hear in the background was... You know, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, <laughs> it's one of those things that... I think this scene is doing really well for the writing, but when it comes to outside of the Flash or Iris or Thawne, it drops, and they need to pick that up a lot. Um, so, yeah. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, who do you think Thawne's talking to? Again, I think it's Red Death. I think we can all say it's Red Death. <laughs> if you have other thoughts, still let me know in the comments down below. Um, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. Stay safe. And I will see you guys more than likely Thursday night for another, yes, another, three videos in one week. That is truly something. <laughs> I don't think I've ever uploaded three videos in a week. Well, at least not lately. <laughs> um... So yeah, yeah, I'll see you guys Thursday night. And if you're watching this past Thursday night, that video's already up. Go watch it. What are you doing with your life? And click the like button on that video. I'm talking to future people who are more than likely watching this on Friday or Saturday or Sunday or even next year. Who knows? And if I'm if it is next year, I would hope this channel is still up and not been deleted. <laughs> it wouldn't get deleted. If anything, I would just quit uploading on it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, go, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you get what I mean. Have a good day, have a good night, I'll see you guys in the next video, bye guys. <laughs>